It's a story we've been following for some time. A single mother from St. Clair Shores, Erica Hamill, who's fighting to change the law in Michigan, all the while doing so in conditions that are less desirable. We shared our story with you, the viewer, and you responded. Over two dozen people stepped up saying they'll donate their time and their efforts to restore a little bit of life to Erica Hamill. Tom Caulfield of Edwards Plumbing and Heating Restoration Services was the first to respond to our call to action. The first thing we seen was a story, and I seen being a father and a grandfather myself of several that I wanted to donate my time and our effort as a company to make sure that we can get these guys back to living comfortably. So we were able to set up this meeting. The electrical was all original and it, you know, it definitely wasn't a code so that's why the ceiling dripped out. Her home in current disrepair. We've been living like this for four years so. There's no reason. Her focus has always been on her son Wyatt, the victim of child abuse. Give him a high five. What? All Yay. right. Wyatt was just an infant when he was shook by Rachel Edwards, causing irreparable brain damage. When Erica is not seeking treatment for Wyatt, she is fighting for a child abuse registry in the state. I don't like asking for help. I don't like, you know, what I do with Wyatt's law. It's for it's for that purpose, is to protect children. I didn't want, like I always tell people, I don't want to benefit from it in any any way. So needless to say, money and time for repairs falls low on the priority list. We'll get some guys out here. We can get you back to where you need to be. But her and Wyatt's story touched this contractor who plans on getting to work immediately. We're hoping within the next 10 days to have these holes filled and uh, get them back into position where they can live comfortably. I don't even know what to say, so this is um, a big deal for us. So. We want to help you and we appreciate the opportunity. Thank you. Wyatt's birthday is next month and in the middle of October and I, I'm always scrambling to like do it somewhere else. Um, it'd be so nice to have him blow out his birthday candles in the dining room. Working for you in St. Clair Shores, Dave Spencer, Fox 2 News.